Hey, what are you doing here? Well, if I get my corner extension, I'll pull that fuel injector body off, take the hose clamp off, and get two more hose clamps. Can I sink off real quick at some point on that bike? Are you kidding me? Hold on, just very quickly. Oh, I gotta put these things in. Oh, I think I brought the bolts from I must have done it and then forgotten to tighten it because it was leaking for a while. Oh, you gotta fix your seat because this is oh, an yeah. amateur mistake here. Yeah, God. <laughs> Dirt bike store. The dirt bike store, because Vermont has no dirt bike stores. Get in. What is this vehicle again? Hey ladies, I'm in my Lesbaru. The Subaru Lesbaru. Hatchback. With the it's an Impreza hatchback. Holy cow, it's hot. There's some room back there. It is, it's very hot. Right, right? Just, just, hang on to your handlebars. It doesn't you know, shift. Yeah, this is a continuously variable transmission. We had the coolest gadget ever found in a car. This is like Vroom! Doug DeMuro's weird quirks of a vehicle. It has a miles per gallon boost gauge. <laughs> Look at that. about like. When you step on the step car, up. it freaking moves. You know what they don't have in Vermont? Oh, there's a bobcat. New York compliant AR 15s. What's the problem? I need a 15 millimeter. Adam, what's the problem? So Tom admitted that he wants to put his Peter in the 150. The problem is, I don't think Tom can handle the 150. If I had a 15 millimeter sprocket, I could at least start handling 15 millimeter sprocket. <laughs> Whoa, man! Hey, what do you think of the music? I like it. So what are you doing here? What, we're hooking up the, the supercharger into the dirt, dirt bike or what? Yeah, so this dirt bike has a really, really, really crappy battery in it. And it ha also doesn't run. Can't run that supercharger? Nah, dude. All right, put that all together, right? Okay. But this bike is not, this is the first time this bike's been ridden. And probably three years. It was, probably, it was taken apart, well, it was taken apart, yeah, three years ago. It's a 2013 250 SXF with a recluse clutch. Uh, that's about all that's not stock. Everything else is stock. I bought the chassis, and then the opportunity came up to buy the engine. And I bought the engine, and I put it all back together, and just did some final finishing touches, torqued everything, made sure it's all good. Uh, and it's about ready to rip, so we're going to give it a trot. I've never ridden a KTM 254 stroke, so uh, I'm really looking forward to it. And then the bike will be for sale after this video. Pending... Um, <laughs> pending uh, this parts. is like National Lampoon's plugging in the... Regular deep sight. It's a regular... What is this? this what is this charger? Whoa, whoa, it's not ready yet. Wait, does it warm up? Yeah. Whoa, time, time. Go, 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 go. What? Better keep it running, dude. the lunar flux bearing on my bike. Let's we'll see how it is today. Why you have grease on your grips? Because if you don't have grease on your grips, you can't expect to hold on. Because everyone knows that when grease breaks down and your hands are dirty, it creates a special bond so that when, when you ride, your hands are like glued to the handlebars. And then you have to position your clutch and brake lever so that you can only get two fingers because what you want to make sure you do is you always have two fingers or three on at all times. Because by doing that, what it does is it allows you to have a couple, uh, feet of free a couple fingers of freedom. And by using that, then you can control the bike the best. I also know, like, when you drink milk, you should have your pinky in the air. Yep. You know, off your glass. That's a sign of class. And, and so you're established. You're, you're established. Yeah. yeah you know you're an established human being. Yeah. Yeah, you got to make sure the world knows that. Mm -hmm. Especially at Wainella. Does my dirt bike like it when I choke it? KTM test days. The 2017 KTM test days here at the uh, compound. The Zach Attack 1 compound. So we'll start off here with the old trustworthy. 
XCW. This bike 250 has been put through everything it could possibly ever go through. It was bought and new nice. and it's been babied every day of its life. And I just really stress the word baby. As you can see here, it's in immaculate condition. Plastics are a little rough. Yeah, but plastics, they can be replaced. Those yep. things are, this thing runs like a top. I wouldn't know, but Zach would. Because every time it brings it to Reading, it doesn't run. Yeah. Next up, we have the, the 2013 250S XF. I rebuilt, it was completely bought as a motor and a chassis and put it all together. It's his first maiden voyage. It has a recluse clutch in it that came in the in the engine. And uh, we're gonna see how she does. Next, my, Adam. My Suva DSX right here. You know, the one that gave me trouble on spring break. You know, she's doing a lot better now though. Put a new pipe on her. Silencer. She's in good shape now. Mint one owner, ready to sell. After Tennessee knockout. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, and next, and then my pride and joy, the 2011 350 SXF. That is has a lot of odds and ends and goodies and all kinds of cool stuff, recluse clutch and pipe and everything. And it has never given me a hard time. It's always ran really well, and it's definitely going to come out today. And then moving on, we have the brand spanking new 2017 300 XC, Zach's most current race bike for the AA class of Winoa. It's rocking some pretty neat skid and linkage protectors, uh, radiator braces, cool graphics wrap, uh, but other than that it's mostly stock and it's just ready to rip. Oh and then we have this, Zach's previous 250B champion bike, the 2014 250SX. Also on the market ready to sell at a very reasonable price. Make all your, <laughs> your offers down in the comments below. Radiator braces, bark busters, this thing is ready to go. Brand new plastics, looks like it came off of uh, someone's back lot and you know stolen no vin don't check it <laughs> it's ready to go factor connection right <laughs> yeah set up for woods it's all dialed in mm -hmm. and it won a championship no it didn't <laughs> 250b oh no no no, no. this isn't the, no, no they got it you know gotta do a recheck on no yeah, it's that second was that was a 2011 this is the 2014 this i, I realized got second I place it. second, second place. place in uh 250a and then Adam, you got your... Well, I don't know who this is, who owns this bike, but it's some kid that races 200 a He's trying to be the fastest small <laughs> rider in the world. I don't know, it looks like a pretty clean bike here. You know, pipe guard, stock pipe, stock silencer. You know, it's pretty fast, though. So. It's going to win some races. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's go. Because I run over Adam's shoes and crush them. 